Tether, and welcome to Adventures in Gardening. So I'm on vacation with my family, and right now we're in Pennsylvania. And a couple of years ago, I met a, a garden enthusiast through uh, my YouTube channel, and her name is Julie. And, um, and we became friends, right, on Facebook, and I've gotten to know her, and she loves gardening as much as I love gardening. I am in her neck of the woods and I said, hey, would it be weird if I, um, if I came by and toured your garden? And she didn't even hesitate. She was like, yeah. So, um, and of course it was all through Messenger. So, uh, anyway, we are on our way to visit her and meet her in person for the first time. So, um, we're going to take a little tour of her garden. Nice to meet you in person. I don't know if I can shake your hand or hug you or whatever. Uh, okay, great. <laughs> I feel like I already married you. <laughs> Me too. It's like watching a little something. Oh, jeez. Because we went to Longwood yesterday, and I, I took care of it. It's pretty. It's so big and easy to put it with your house. Yeah. So these are Chicago hardy. Okay. And, yeah, we went round and round about, are they going to live or not? Should we put them in rings? You know, with the roots. But now, actually, maybe the roots are more exposed, so that's probably stupid. That's, yeah, see? So the growth, is this a one year growth for yeah. you? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. This started out at about this big. Wow. So I have to tell you that, I, so I have a fig tree that I've always done in a container and it it grows so much slower, not being in the ground. Really? So much slower. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is amazing growth. And so, you know, um, what you could do is if you're going to leave them in the ground this year is you could take cuttings just to be safe just to be on yeah. the safe side because you just never know I heard they start easy from cuttings yes they do so yeah I guess you can water root them but I love the um, I love the foliage on them they look well, very lush it. we like the look of the plant regardless of the right. figs but we love the figs but I think I expect us to, to go back to the ground and this will be new growth every year yeah I guess it depends on the type of winter that we have I, I, mm. I guess well, I realize that I don't have them lined up right anyway, so that, that annoys me. So. Oh no! So, <laughs> I didn't I, even notice. <laughs> I'm fairly positive that they're getting moved next year. Wow. So you have some great maple trees. Yes, and I don't remember the names of most of them. The second one, the, the first one is like, a, who knows what, a wild one, but right. next to it is butterfly. That I know. Okay. And then these have Japanese names I can't remember. Yeah. And this one here, I bought that on eBay. It came as the size of a pencil. Oh, it is great. I like the structure of the um, the trunk of it. I like pruning. Yeah. So I get out and play. Yeah. <laughs> now, how long have you been in this in in on this property? Thirty-two years. Thirty-two. It okay. was a field. Oh. It was wow. a farmer's field when we bought it. Well, I definitely love your little. Your little maple forest. Now, what about the evergreens in the back? Were they here before? Nope, nothing was here. Wow. Now, everything you see, we put in here. This was intentionally overplanted with shade trees, and it was called my bird garden. And okay. everything we stuck in here originally got berries or nesting or something for the birds. And then I had my yard certified as National Natural Wildlife Habitat. How cool. So we're certified, but. Uh, a lot of the bushes have died out because the trees got so large and give so much shade. So I lost a lot of the viburnums and things that were in here, but yeah, deep shade always in here. Wow. Now, what does it mean to be nationally certified? You have to provide uh, food, nesting, mm -hmm. uh, safe places, water. You have to be able to provide and with pictures that you've provided all that. And I provided food naturally. I mean, I feed with bird feeders but that, I'm not sure that's what they meant. You know, they probably meant um, bushes and berries. Yes, and, yes, yes, and yes. Things like that. Yes, so I actually have thought about getting on the um, the monarch butterfly registry. Or, you could, or the herb. You could get a, pollin a pollinator from the garden song and get... Right. Yeah, that's my next thing. That's what I want to do. That's the driveway bed, which is, in the spring looks fantastic. Mm -hmm. Right now it looks very sad because it's going to bed. <laughs> it's going to sleep. Well, I think there's still beauty in, in this kind but of fall garden. This is extremely dry shade because of these mm -hmm. trees. Mm -hmm. And I didn't water enough this year. So, you know, they say hostas can do well in dry shade. And I kind of disagree. I think they can survive, but they don't thrive. Mm. So we're going to run uh, like three sacred hoses in here next year and turn them on every day. Awesome. That's new. The Hakanakoa. 
I just got I have such this. a hard time saying that. That's why I always call it Japanese forest grass. You can call grass. it Hakone grass. grass <laughs> I got it off the sale uh, bin, so it doesn't look so great, but yeah. hopefully by next year it will. Yeah. My best looking pasta in this one, mm -hmm. in this garden at this point is Brother Stefan. Okay. Now that is a pretty, just plain old green pasta, mm. but it's super shiny normally. Mm -hmm. It's called Devon. Devon? Mm -hmm. Okay. And what is this one right here? That's June. That's the fall oh, colors yeah. on June. Yeah, June is pretty. Now notice how eaten up some of these are. Mm -hmm. June is not much bothered. And the, hmm. the I was noticing that yesterday when I was watering. It's like the blue green ones aren't getting eaten like the green green ones are. Wow. And so um, that over there is this is first frost and autumn frost. Oh, okay. They look great. What I like is the color of that hellebore. I do too. Um, yeah, it's called something like true candy or something. Mm -hmm. It's really, really dark. Candy love. Hmm. And this is one of those that's bred to have the flowers looking out instead of down. Oh, okay. Yeah. I gotta appreciate that. Yeah. I hate to have to get under the hellebore to take a photo. <laughs> Yeah, or to look at it. <laughs> cut them and float them in a the bowl of water. Is that your summon substance back there? Yes. Yeah. Not my best one because it's thirsty. There's Brother Stefan getting ready to oh, wow. go back to the ground. Wow. That it. was gorgeous when it was fresh. Yeah. And then that's Blue Angel. Mm hmm. And that's like a 15 year clump of hellebore. Oh, my goodness. It Someday. Goes to the other side. And that's guacamole there. I love guac. So your guacamole is uh, so much nicer than mine. Mine have never got, you know how they say it takes three years for them to do something? Mm -hmm. Mine has been five or six years and they still haven't done that. My biggest one we walked right past, it's over there underneath oh. that rhododendron in the front. Oh, I can't. That was a piece yeah. off of this one a couple years ago. Wow. And so I notice in your dry shade, no epimediums? Do you do the epimediums, the bishops, sweet, the bishops, the um, the little fairy flowers? Have you ever seen that before? You're gonna have to look for that one. That is a um, they love dry shade, I, and you can mix them with your hostas. These looked good earlier, mm -hmm. and they spread too much. I I pull a lot of them out because they just they will take over. Yeah. There's a bunch of Dara there, and that's what had uh, swallowtail all over it the other day oh my gosh so you know I don't that's something that I have not grown in the garden I've seen it on the um, in the seed catalogs oh, I can send you some seeds oh, that'd be great Boy, they, cut, they so do pretty. have some pretty ones like there was some really deep burgundy like darker than this oh look 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 oh my goodness what a little cutie it's a relative of a carrot yes I like it in all the stages. And so is this your border with the hydrangea? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's limelight. Nice. It makes a, a good natural wall between that and the grasses. Yeah, for sure. But these bloom on new wood, so they're super easy to prune. Yeah. Like I cut mine back in early March and I take, I took like three or four feet off of these in March. Oh, wow. March. Right back they go. I try to cut down the weak stems. Cut, yeah. Like I thin them out and try to stick with just the stronger stems because after a good rain, if you don't do that, they're flopped over. Right. But we had a real yeah, good rain the other day. Nice and strong. And they didn't flop at all. As you can see, I'm trying to lift up the bottoms. Now, I'm not trying to make them a standard because they don't have a single trunk, but right. I like to see structure. So I'm trying to lift them up yeah. and clean them out. Every year I do it a little bit more to get a little cleaner look. Mm. Yeah, I do like that. They look really nice. And then these are new this year. And what is this? That's a, an arb called Mr. Bowling Ball. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we had a very weedy mess here of just perennials and I did I just didn't like the look, so we're getting a little tidier. Mr. Bowling Ball. This is my I'm still working on this. It may not look all that great to you, I don't know, but Four or five years ago, these trees had branches to the ground. And okay. this was nothing but weeds oh, over here. Okay. Yeah. And so I started lifting them up with the idea that I wanted a garden when I got really old to put her in right off the house. Mm -hmm. So I'm still filling and I have to add soil every year because these tree roots 
form a mat. You can't even plant in there mm -hmm. without adding soil. So every year I add three, in three to four inches of mushroom soil and then mulch. Awesome. You wouldn't know it by now, but. So I actually have an area that I have to do the same and it's um, from maple trees. Mm. And yeah, every single year, if you don't, your plants are gonna yep. shrink and go away. Yep. I do that too in the driveway bed. I have yeah. to add every year. So yeah. typically where we're standing right now is a mountain of, of mulch and soil. And oh. it, I just yeah. cleaned it off. It was here since May. <laughs> Yeah, that's our thing. And our friends are like, are you, aren't you going to get rid of that yet? <laughs> it nope. takes time. As soon as it's gone, I order another pile. <laughs> oh. Well, this looks really nice. So you'll notice that I have the giant hostas and rings here. Mm -hmm. My favorite one was Liberty. That's this one and that one. And this was, this was one plant that was over here against the old deck. Mm -hmm. And when we built a new deck last year, I had to move all my plants out. And I wanted them along this walk, but you can't plant with these trees. So oh, yeah. we had to come up with containers. And so I have, I split Liberty. Mm -hmm. And so this is Liberty and that's the parent, Sage. Okay, yeah. And another Liberty. And then there's the best summer substance I have. Oh, wow, right there. yeah, that looks really good. That is huge, huge. It takes a, a, a lot of sun too in the afternoon. So nice. it's a little tiny bit burnt now, but mm -hmm. I mean, we're getting into October, so I'm not surprised by that. And so you've got this beautiful kufia firecracker. That was strictly for the hummingbirds because it's not typically what I like in a flower, but the hummingbirds love it, so yeah. I, do, I do things they love, you know, just to keep them around. Right, yes. And, uh, I'm, what I'm filling in with basically are hellebores, hostas, ferns, brunera, mm -hmm. and I intend to take the whole idea the whole way over. And I, I don't want to see soil. My object is to have it like that, packed tight, right? So you don't see soil. If you don't see soil, you're not going to get much weeds. That's a nice hosta right there. That's striptease. Oh, I have striptease. Mine looks like nothing right now. Well, mine looks like the dogs ran through. Oh, <laughs> they can. It's okay. I have a lot of broken leaves down there. And that's El Nino behind it. Uh, the, the white and green one? Yep. Now, where do you get your hostas from? Do you, oh. do you have local? Do you mail order or do you have local places? Those. Okay. Um, I buy some local. I haven't bought any this year, which is amazing. So over here, a couple years ago, I lifted out six to eight inches of soil. And I didn't do that. That's next year's project. But this soil was so bad from building the house, even and we never fixed it. So I took it out and did the whole ground cover and liriope thing. Yeah. I am going to move the cone flowers out because I think it's a little sloppy looking. Well, I, I like your contrast. I've seen pictures of this. This looks really nice. Makes me want to do that. I keep getting uh, warnings from people on there. Did you see in the garden group? No. That's very invasive. You're going to oh. like, you know what? What I want it to do is fine. It, it can be a little pushy here. Right. That's the thing about it, uh, quote unquote invasive plants. It's like the, if you put the right plant in the right place, it doesn't matter if it's going to take over. Yeah. And that's you what know? I wanted to do. Yeah. No, I feel the same exact way. But I want it to go up and around. I don't want these plants just to be sitting in a sea of creeping jenny. Right. So that's why they're getting moved out next year for yeah. a cleaner look. And these are uh, Macophilia. Mm -hmm. That's a lace cap. Okay, yeah. Almost lost that this year. And then this is a new one, the Limelight Punch. I just okay. stuck in. Wow, that's cute. Yeah, well, I it's like gonna, its fall color. I think its color could be better, but it was sitting in the nursery until a couple weeks ago, so volunteer. Love volunteers. <laughs> So, this is our big project this year. Mm hmm. I don't know if you can see them in there. Yeah, what do you have? This is a koi. There's a koi and three goldfish. Wow. He's hiding underneath the. Oh, oh, I see him now. Wow, he is a big koi. They were all about four inches when I put them in. Oh, he's a butterfly koi. What's that mean? Uh, yeah, with the extra long um, fins and tails. Oh. Yeah. I didn't even know that. Got him at the local nursery. There's a nursery like four minutes from here. I think I saw it. St Stouffer's? Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where I got him. Got all of them in the same time. And honestly, they were like this big. 
this is their fifth year here. And the pond that we just took out was only this big. This little tiny thing. Well, it looks great. And uh, he basically outgrew it. So I said, I want a bigger pond and it had to be here. Because we had a big debate over. My husband wanted to put it way over there. I'm like, no. That's, come, that's, yeah. that's my kitchen window. Okay. And our table's yep. right in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can see right out it. here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so Adam and I used to uh, work at a garden center together. And uh, so we, he used to be the guy who would sell all of the stuff and put it all together. <laughs> so you know what uh, I mean? All of the, um, the pumps and, yeah, and the, all that stuff. So. That was new for us to yeah. actually get the legitimate thing. Because for all the years we've had the pond in, we didn't use the right pumps or mm -hmm. anything. And, yeah. It gets expensive. It, yeah. it was. It was an investment, but yeah. um, you know what? We don't go to very many places. We stay home. Yeah. And enjoying the yard is what we do. Yeah. We have a lot of friends over time to time, and uh, it, I don't mind it. I stay here and enjoy yeah, the my fish yard. Are beautiful. Yeah. yeah. You said a butterfly koi. He's yeah, a butterfly those are koi. More desirable yes. than the standards. Because oh. they look like they are um, um, have wings. Yeah. When, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, we saw he's really pretty, but I don't know anything special about him. Yeah. I don't know if he'll eat or not. Um, yesterday, they weren't too thrilled about eating. Yeah, they kind of start to go dormant when they're cold. Yeah. They're dormant. They slow down. Yeah. That's what I figured. I'm about done feeding, I think, for the year. Look, they used to, as soon as they saw me, get all excited. Mm -hmm. He'd be like, I don't care right now. Do you use a pond heater or is it deep enough? I do have a pond heater, but this one should be deep enough. It's three foot. Oh, yeah. And see, the other pond was only a foot and a half. And I said to Wayne, I'm afraid he'll die this year if we don't make it bigger because yep. he's so big. Yeah. And uh, yeah. so he hand dug this. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> I said, you don't need a gym membership. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep you busy here. Oh, yeah, they're pretty. I, you know, when we actually had a water garden at one point where I now plant my garlic, and um, I enjoyed it thoroughly. But I forget what happened. Why the dog fell in? I remember that. Well, that's why the fence is up. <laughs> I have an old dog that would walk right into it. That, yeah, yeah. Also, that dog was a duck diving competitor, so he, you know, likes water. Right. Was yeah. trained to like water. <laughs> Oh my goodness. The other dogs see the floating turtle and think it's a ball, so they want oh. to go get it. But we have herons. Yes. And uh, they like to go fishing. But we also get raccoons. Yes. So that's my biggest worry here, and that's the only reason it's netted because I hate netting it. Well, that plus fallen leaves at the moment, but. Yeah. Well, I think you still get, you know, a lot of enjoyment out of it. I like to watch fish. I don't know why, but I do. <laughs> it's, it's peaceful. Yeah. yeah it's really yeah. peaceful. This thing I brought home in the backseat of my Saturn coupe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm imagining it was much, much, much smaller. <laughs> well, and then I really, I mean, we probably shouldn't have put it there so close to the house, but yeah. you couldn't use this deck at all. It was so mm -hmm. hot. Oh. That's west and that's south over there. Yeah. You would just bake on the deck. So now that the tree's there, we can use the, we can use the deck. But uh, no, I think the tree is way too close. And I said to Wayne the other day, I wonder what it costs to put that chop down. Oh. A lot. We know a lot about that. Yeah. <laughs> but then it'll be like, okay, then we have to build a sunroom. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, maybe we'll just not talk about it right now. <laughs> Over there, I don't know if you can see that structure. That's our blueberry house. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah, okay. That's to keep the birds away. Nice. Yeah. How was your blueberry year? Yeah, it was, it was okay. Yeah, I froze some. And then these things, I'm waiting for this thing to topple over. I was looking at it yesterday when it was windy, and mm -hmm. you know we have the hurricane kind. Look. Oh, yeah, wow. as soon as a hurricane gets here, that's going to be the end of this. Yeah. There's the cardinal vine. Oh, yours looks great. A lot bigger and fuller than mine because I started mine so much later. Well, I have a string across the back of the shed. I'm trying to get it grow that way and wrap it around the string, but uh, yeah. it's not going to get big enough to go through the across this year. Mm. So. so we have lots of projects already lined up for next year, like um, putting pavers down, those pavers all the way around the shed. Oh, nice. And we're going to redo. That'll be nice. Walk. 
the whole thing's not going to be bricks from there up. It's going to be pavers and those big cement stones or mm -hmm. that look like rocks. Type of thing. Yep, so this is getting a little crispy now, but it looked good for a really long time. Yeah, our hostas at home, because of the drought, they didn't have their their season like they normally do. No, and, and they all suffered. That's a good um, cupra. The best one I have. It does a great job. The others die back a lot. Like behind you, I have a, there's actually three over here, but. Oh yeah. This one is struggling. Yeah. Love it. See, you have a little Irish moss there. Yeah. This, my plan is to spread that around, but then I started ripping this out, and then I realized this is this is some kind of moss, and I was ripping it out. You don't happen to know, do you? No, I don't, but I have seen it before. I thought maybe I better not rip it out till I know for sure that I don't want it. <laughs> right. That might be a fun one just to let it take over, right? Well, it is. Yeah. This is um, not in bloom right now, but more is coming. Mm -hmm. It stopped there over the summer from the heat but this yep. is at um apple blossom oh i grew that one too i grew up at, yeah did you grow them from seed yeah yeah but this one's prettier and we passed right past the fuller one over there by the pole Can okay that pink lump over there blue, blue, blue. oh yeah yeah that's yeah this. that's a better looking flower over there but this has got really pretty like azalea like blooms on it oh that is pretty it comes in other colors. I'm going to order the bronze one. Th that's apple blossom? No, this is Madam Butterfly. Oh my goodness. So yeah, that is a beautiful one. That's on my list. This uh, this is Madam Butterfly pink. And that mm -hmm. one over there is more is a lot prettier because mm -hmm. it's a whole head of them. Like oh, this one. These, wow. This one is not quite as pretty. But uh, you should check out the bronze color. Okay. When I tried to get it last year, it was sold out. So I want to order it soon. Like that. Yeah, I do like that. It almost, I don't know, gladiolia-like or something. It's so pretty. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I like your cattle panels. Very nice. Yeah, we actually rented a U-Haul to bring these home. Oh. <laughs> really? <laughs> and this is just for fun. I don't know that I'll get any beans, uh -huh. but I thought, eh, I'm just going to let it go. You know? Yeah. So that, and then I replanted the peas. Mm -hmm. They're coming up. That's broccoli. But beds are kind of in between there's nothing much going on on these two they're mostly just flowers and that's a mm -hmm. bunch of daylilies i took out oh there's that basil yeah i just made pesto with some of this yesterday and now the name of it again cardinal basil cardinal basil you can oh smell it. that's nice i like that a lot and it's so pretty yeah even the stems are that dark burgundy right yeah that's definitely one I want to grow next year. Well, I have seeds. Oh, you're welcome. Yay! To them. And then this thing, Amish paste. Nice. I had a terrible tomato year. Really? Stink bugs ruined <gasps> almost all my tomatoes. Oh my goodness. They're really bad. Wow. So now I'm hoping they're gone. I'm going to let these on to see if I can use them. Yep. Yep. But they get you know, that white mark. It toughens the skin. Yes. And it has this white. Or yeah. Underneath the skin, so. so I have to say that I haven't had them on my tomato plants, but I have had them everywhere else. Well, I tell you, I can always see the damage, mm -hmm. and I don't see it on there. But it's like pock marks, mm. and it's like white, whitish. Hmm. But they don't look. I might actually get these. I was disgusted, and I ripped a bunch of my tomatoes out already because. I knew that they wouldn't ripen up. Now this one's ripening up pretty fast. This is a poblano, which is just polluted with peppers. Wow. I, I picked this clean, well not clean, but I picked all the usable ones uh -huh. a few days ago. Yeah. I'm just waiting for these to get a little bigger. So most of my peppers were in those bags, grow bags. Yeah, yeah. And this one's in the ground. Yep. We decided we're doing them in the ground next year because the grow bags didn't get like this. Yeah. Yeah, that's a monster. Yes, yeah, doing good. This reseeded by itself from our patch that was re here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Look at the beans coming up in the yard. I had beans here. And I, right. I pulled them all. But they are starting again. That's Brussels sprouts. That's my attempt at a mushroom bed over there. 
didn't happen this year. Nothing? No. Maybe next year. Yeah. So we'll start again. It needs to be wetter than we kept it. Yeah. So that's part of the problem. So I see your compost pile. Oh, they're all I'm over the place. Big fan of compost. Yep. Yep. <laughs> they're all over the place. So tell me about your asparagus. Did you, how, how do you, um, do you, how long has it been in? Do you get a lot of asparagus? It's been in quite a while and yes, but we just moved it. Okay. This was, the asparagus was here in this rectangle mm -hmm. and we decided we wanted it in the back row. So my husband dug it all up. We'll see how that goes next year. Okay. And uh, now I'm moving my strawberries to create two paths. I moved some, I need to go down and finish my path and bring them up here. But these are all ever bearers. Oh, okay. There's actually strawberries on these still. So this is cabbage and cauliflower planted really close together. Okay. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. So you, these are the beds that Wayne made last year okay. by sawing down trees. Well, trees that have fallen, he took his chainsaw and made boards. Okay. They wow. were laying down there. It's like, oh, how are we going to get rid of that tree? That's how we got rid of it. <laughs> there you go. It works. Yeah. So basically, we're getting a little more into permaculture where it'll just do its thing every year. Yes. So we had asparagus, strawberries, mm -hmm. blackberries, raspberries. And this, I'm waiting a couple weeks yet, but I'm going to take and thin them out and take them the whole way down. Nice. So what's down there now is horseradish that's getting dug out. Okay. The last two years, garlic and bugs have been all over it yeah and basically get on everything else then so i said let's get rid of that because we're so not you're using gonna ditch it, it? Yeah. yeah we're not using it yeah so what's the point but the the raspberries will look nice the whole way down that's a prelude and is it a uh, red or yeah. okay yes I have a musical theme going, so if I'm buying anything, a lot of it has musical <laughs> musical name to That's it. That's the criteria. <laughs> yeah. This is another kind of basil. This one is blue spice. Oh. I didn't cook with it because oh, it smells Wayne, it smells very Telsey like. Yeah, Wayne didn't like to taste so. Um, hmm. I was out here with the pruners the other day, so the tomatoes got hit really bad. Mm -hmm. I yeah. I took a bunch out, and this is um, black crim. Oh yeah. The beauty. You see, this is the oh, yeah. actually it's the gold one that everybody wanted for some reason. Really? Oh, that is a beauty. Yeah, I love these. Well, I have seeds. These are the are they the cactus style? Is that what yep. they're called? Okay. Yep. Yeah, there's a story with these. Yeah. We what? have a farm store a couple miles away. Yep. Um, it's a really nice farm store. They have an orchard. They sell their own peaches and apples and things like that, and then they little store. But they always park, uh, plant zinnias all around the parking lot. Yep. And they have a big parking lot. So there's all these zinnias. Well, they were all dead. It was fall. Yep. Right? And I saw these and I thought, well, they're dead. <laughs> so I popped <laughs> off a couple of heads. That's right. <laughs> that's how yep. I got started with oh my cactus. Oh my goodness. That's it's great. Like, I like, love it. I guess they don't care. You know what? Yeah. They're, I mean, they're just going to fall, right? <laughs> well, this year I went in and they have their own packaged seeds now. Oh, well. <laughs> Oh, uh, maybe I shouldn't have taken them. <laughs> oh, you're a rebel after my own heart, though. <laughs> this is that one I thought was so adorable that you oh, can't. Oh my goodness! Yeah, there, you can't appreciate till you come up close to it. Wow! Look at those little speckles. Very pretty. So yeah, this was my sacrifice tomato plant. Mm -hmm. Stink bugs really, really preferred this one. Really? What variety is it? Do you know? Black cherry. Black cherry. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, wow. Gross. Okay. Huh. Okay, here's stink bug damage. See those white marks? Yeah. That's from stink bug. And if huh. you cut that open, it's all white inside. Wow. So. You gotta get yourself some chickens so you can uh, yeah. feed all the extra produce. <laughs> I thought about you. I wanted chickens for years. And that, yeah. um, finally, when Wayne said, well, okay, let's get chickens, I'm like, okay, no, I don't want chickens. <laughs> because foxes, oh, we, have, yeah. we have coyote, yeah. we have bobcats. We have fishers, we have eagles, and hawks. Oh. And my neighbor right behind us yep. sells eggs and is losing chickens all the time. Oh. And I said, I can't deal with it. Yeah, it's dead too animal. much. It's too much. So we're kind of like at the end of our season. So that's why things look, um, you know. And so how far back do you guys go? All the way. Wow. All the way to the bottom is a little finger of a creek that runs down there. Yeah. We get, it gets much bigger when we start flooding. And this is, this is my, uh, 
present to my husband when he gets home. There you go. <laughs> He's got work to do. So have you planted all of these trees? Yes. Oh my goodness. Yep. Wow. And there was even some that we took out that aren't here anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, oh, you know beautiful. how that is. So yeah, um, I used to garden at other people's properties. I had like six or so clients. Oh wow. Not this first thing, that's a sweet shrub. Yeah. But the next three viburnums were all little volunteers out of their yard. Oh nice. Again, for the birds. You have a lot of, of birds I've seen. Oh yeah. Mm. Yeah, this morning I was watching the blue jays. I had 10 or more swooping down into this bed. I thought at first they were picking the raspberries, mm -hmm. but they weren't on the bushes. They were coming down in here. So I don't know what they were after, but they were after something down here. Wow. Yeah, we definitely promote the birds. So I, I yeah. put peanuts in the shells out every morning for the blue jays. Yeah, yeah. You gotta, I mean, they help you to control the critters. Well, I'll so. tell you this, and mm -hmm. this is amazing to me, but see in that kennel? Yep. The little house? Mm hmm. Whoever lived in there was keeping all the potato beetles off my potatoes. Oh. So I would catch them flying in. Yep. And I didn't have any beetles. It's good to have employees. Yeah, yeah. But that I love this because mm -hmm. uh, of course squirrels can still get in here and they do they get in when i've reseeded and start digging my seeds out but waist high gardening is nice yes and uh keeps out uh, deer groundhogs so we finally replaced our last wooden bed which was there that was our holding thing for the fish when we had to move them out of there okay little pond yeah put them in a big pond so this is all planted. Oh, look, I have stuff up already. Oh, wow, look at that. That's lettuce. Nice. And so I think you sent me seeds for, for this yep. right here, and I did plant a little fall there. crop. It's coming. Yep, nice. And they, they were delicious, by the way. It's like, really, I really, really, liked it. really, really high in nutrients. It's yeah. like a super green, super food. So these things are quite the investment. Yes, they because are. I did look into them. 185, I think, yeah. a piece. This one I got on Facebook Market Ooh. Facebook Marketplace for thirty dollars. Nice, that's nice. I saw it and I said, "I'm sending my husband right away. <laughs> He'll be right there in 20 minutes." <laughs> oh wow! Got some mizuna in there. Yeah, like pink mizuna. Yeah. And somebody's been walking in here. And what do you got over in here? Oh. Radishes. Radish. The whole thing is, I have planted this like three times because somebody keeps digging my seeds out. I had a <laughs> dove nest like right in here a couple years ago. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> that was cute. Oh, that's, that's a little cute little arrangement thing there. I like that. Yes, yeah, so this is my garden shed. Right now it's kind of a mess, but mm -hmm. I'll show you. We have, of course, plants. Lots of plants. You know how it is in the summer, you just throw everything in your oh, shed. Yeah. And then oh, yeah. this fall, I intend to uh, clean it up again. Yep. I always say I have I have the winter to do things. Well, I have to say, though, that you are still very organized <laughs> with all your pots in place. But this is a really cute little shed. Well, I like to have my, my lights going and actually we'll have plants in here. Like I just started um, rooting up lamium oh, nice. to spread underneath there for a yeah. ground cover. Mm -hmm. And I'm picking my cuttings and getting them rooted up. They're going to go in the house soon. Some of them already went in the house. I love your coleus. I love this one, even though it's just... I don't know that one. It's mosaic something or other. Yeah. Like Mighty Mosaic or something. Hmm. Yeah, I love coleus. Yep, so uh, I still want to do the floor. We're yeah. going to paint the cabinets. I'm getting new countertops. And do you heat? Do you heat in here, or do you just no. use the lights? Yeah, yeah, use the lights. But I tell you, here's here's one thought. Mm -hmm. In the winter, I get no sunlight through those skylights. Okay. Because the sun is over there, so we're going to cut this out and put plexiglass. Okay. So nice. So that I can get heat that way. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not done, but it's. Uh, Yes, it is. I love it. Is that shed out there? This is that's my good. Shed. <laughs> this is your she shed. <laughs> this should be a lot cuter, but I got sidetracked. It's actually hard work. Yeah.
thanks for watching this tour. This is my friend Julie, and uh, and we just had a nice time touring her garden, and I hope that you enjoyed it as well. So uh, thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all soon. Bye bye.